You want to see how new and smooth this display is? Look, this Pixel 7a, the display is so smooth, it's literally sliding off of the box. Oh, look at that. All right, what an intro. We have the Pixel 7a. Been dying to get my hands on one. I got the black and or, I guess, officially charcoal colored one. I wanted to get um, the coral one, uh, but, you know, whatever uh, opportunity didn't arise to get the coral one. So I got a charcoal one. However, we are putting cases on here. I got a couple case reviews that I'm going to upload uh, here in just a minute. Uh, let me see. I got the, just as a review, just a quick preview. We got a caseology case and a Tudia case. Yeah, not real manly here, uh, manly color, but uh, my wife picked that one out. I got this one. So we're going to use this as a uh, backup phone. Basically, you put it in the closet and it's going to sit. Now, it'll come out every once in a while just to use it. A spare phone, you always need a spare phone just in case uh, your phone breaks. You're not going to be without a phone for a day or two. You'll have something. Uh, anyways, that's a whole other story. But Pixel 7a, we've been using this for about a day. Absolutely love this device. This device is night and day. I can't stress enough how different the 7a is compared to last year's 6a. We purchased a 6a charcoal color and absolutely hated it. I was so disappointed. <laughs> For one thing, it had a 60 hertz display. This has 90 this year. Last year had a 60 hertz. Very choppy. Uh, not happy with the animations. The processor was way too fast for a 60 hertz. You need something nice and smooth. Perfectly 120, but that's for the Pro model. Uh, but it desperately needed a 90 hertz display last year, and they did not. They put a 60. Second thing I hated, the fingerprint scanner did not work. Now, that was a common issue, if you're familiar with the 6A series. It had a horrible fingerprint scanner. Now, this year, all new hardware, brand new fingerprint sensor under, under the screen. Have not had an issue at all with the fingerprint scanner. Flawless. So, not going to have to worry about that. And the third thing, that was an absolute deal breaker, right? If the fingerprint scanner does not work, well, at least I got face unlock, right? I don't have to sit there and type my stupid password in every time I want to check my phone out. Well, the 6A, last year's model, did not have face unlock. This year, the 7A does have face unlock. So, with just those three improvements, just those three improvements, and there's many more, but those three main improvements went from a device I do not recommend and absolutely hate it, to a device that is a home run for Google. Um, this design is beautiful. The build quality is much improved and beautiful. The aesthetics, the way it looks, feels beautiful. And not to mention the software side, absolutely flawless. This phone is snappy. It is very fast. Um, if you're a subscriber to this channel, you know that my Pixel 7 Pro absolute favorite phone of all time it is a beast when i say be it looks pretty it looks nice when i say beast this thing is a ferrari i'm not even lying it's not even a corvette it's a ferrari um it's blazing fast it can handle anything i throw at it best camera on the market better than samsung better than apple um it's just awesome I can't wait till the 8 comes out, 8 Pro. I'm going to get that, but uh, that's for another day. So, this 7A series, just a phenomenal device. Um, it has USB Type-C speakers on the bottom. You got volume rocker, and you got power up top. Placement's perfect. When you hold it, you got your volume right here, and you got your power right here. So, whether you're holding it with your left hand, Got it right there, boom, easy. Or if you're holding it with your right hand, power, volume, it fits very good in the hand. Now, Pixel 7 Pro, big device, right? Real big in the hand, huge difference in size. 
So I'm used to this one. Pa uh, power button placement's perfect. Volume's a little low, but it's not bad. Because I usually do this power, and I'll use this for volume. But this button placement is perfect. Um, cameras upgraded this year. No more 12 megapixel camera. They've been using like last year on the 6A. They had that 12 megapixel that was in the original Pixel. Pixel 2. Actually, I think it was in, yeah, it was in the first Pixel, second Pixel, third Pixel, fourth Pixel, and in the 6A. So basically running on five or six years for that 12 megapixel. This is a brand new sensor. Uh, I think it's a 64. Now, I should you know be up to date with that as far as my knowledge i don't remember i think it's a brand new sensor and oh i know it's a brand new sensor i just don't know the megapixel but camera's been phenomenal speaker quality has been loud fits perfectly in the hand you have two bands up top on the in a microphone on this side we already looked at that side down here you got your sim tray and you got some more bands on the side for uh frequencies picking up your uh, data from the cell towers but another thing I want to mention the charging speed now on reddit there's been people complaining that the charging speed is very low very slow and somebody was ready to give up their phone because it charged so slow well I was kind of head scratching thinking well I don't have any issues with this R7 Pros and my daughter's 7 has zero issues I mean, it, could it charge faster? Sure. Uh, OnePlus devices charge in 30 minutes, or 29 minutes to be exact. But I think I can go from 0 to 100 on my 7 Pro in about less than an hour. I think it's about 50 minutes. Now, you have to have a fast charger. Somebody on Reddit said it took almost two hours to charge this phone. I think they're lying. And to be honest with you, they're either lying or they don't have a, a, a fast charger. Look, let me grab this one. This Samsung charger that I got right here. This is a Samsung charger, super fast charging. Now this is rated, I think, sorry, my allergies are super bad today. I think the, I think this is rated at 18 watts charging now i haven't done a charging test but i think i'm going to do one today now the 7 pro i believe charges at 27 watts which could be faster but it's got a huge battery 5000 million battery the battery life on this thing is freaking awesome i mean i can go to day and a half on this device um battery life on this phone we got it in at i think 94 percent went out of the box and uh, let's see what did we get it at it was at 94 and we played with it for a long time i think we had got it down to 79 but that's a full day's use i mean that's like 15 percent so the battery life has had zero issues see on 100 percent. look it's been on 100 percent for i have had it off of the charger for probably an hour an hour and 15 minutes and it's still on 100 percent so look you get about 21 hours worth of battery life on this battery here let's see battery usage let's see if it'll show Well, the and they changed the battery stats from Android 12. Anyways, this the battery is not an issue on here. Charging is not an issue. To get at my first point, I believe this is an 18 18 watt charge on this phone. Um, I mean, look how fast it is. It's hard to tell. I have it on 60 frames per second on my uh, S23 Ultra that I'm filming on. So it's hard to tell. You're only going to get, you know, 60 frames per second. Although this is a 90 hertz refresh rate. So it is a lot faster in person than what you see on the video here. But look, I mean, it is 
this would be janky uh, on the 6A. It would stutter, it would hesitate. This is fluid as hell. Now this has eight gigabytes of RAM. The 6A, last year's model, had only six gigabytes of RAM. The, just those two gigabytes of RAM make a ginormous difference. Um, get, get a fast charger. Get this one, I believe it's rated at, or any, any fast charger. It's rated at 27 watts, I believe. Let's see, output. Anyways, three amp, 27. Yeah, so this is the Samsung fast charger. Um, this is gonna charge it. Ours took less than an hour. I wanna say around, I don't know, I wasn't timing it on a phone. I know it was less than an hour though. Uh, now we, it was not at zero. Um, I did, I did try and drain it as much as possible. Does not, does not, I, I don't know what that person was talking about on Reddit. Either they're a, uh, iPhone fanboy that just wants to hate on Android. Um, or they were using a rinky dink charger that will, char that will take two hours. If you have a, you know, iPhone charger or a, uh, a, a seven, eight, 10 watt charger, it's going to take forever. Um, now this does have wireless charging. Uh, we don't have any wireless chargers in here, but um, just a phenomenal device. Now, not much comes in the box. You get the box here. You'll get a, a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. You'll get a SIM pin ejector. You'll get a USB Type-A to USB Type-C um, connector here. And then that's basically it, the SIM pin which is in there and then just a little book I don't give you much that's about it but um just a phenomenal device absolutely love it I got I'm gonna do a screen protector install and I'm going to do the case review so uh, check those videos out I'm gonna film them right now and upload them to the channel so for more pixel news reviews case reviews um, I'm running the beta software on my 7 Pro. So for beta software news, everything, hashtag Team Pixel, you will find it here. Um, as well as Samsung news, reviews, information, I'm filming on the S23 Ultra. And we're not just um, Android uh, fanboys over here. We are a Pixel house. Everybody in the home has a Pixel. We also do news, reviews, and everything for iPhone uh, um, and Apple as well. So... We're, uh, we do it all here, but subscribe to the channel. We got a tons of good stuff coming on the way for the 7A, the 7, and the 7 Pro. And like I said, everything uh, Samsung as well. So stay tuned, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. I am going to add this video on to the end of my um, Pixel 7A review unboxing video. Um, just to let you know that, look at look where the battery percentage is at. I did mention on the review that this gets phenomenal battery life and I want and I literally have been doing reviews in in front of this camera my S23 Ultra for about an hour maybe less eh, about an hour because I did the I did the pixel review that I that I'm going to tag this video on glue it on to the back end of this of that video so I did the whole review I did the screen protector review uh, right here and install I did the caseology review and I also did this Tudia review so for about an hour I, I shot about three or four videos about an hour look what the battery's at I literally unplugged this thing probably two hours ago hour and a half maybe yeah about an hour and a half ago and it took me about 30 minutes to set up for shooting and I had to talk to talk to my daughter about something um, and I recorded those three videos no four videos now this is the fifth video look where the battery life's at a hundred percent I have not plugged it in I literally unplugged it about an hour and a half ago and it's still on a hundred percent and look at the time 
you can tell from earlier in the video i think it was at 1 11 i think so this is about an hour uh like i said and so it's been unplugged for an hour and a half gone through three or four video shoots and it's still at 100 percent. so the battery life on this phone is phenomenal this tensor g2 chip i'm telling you on my 7 pro i'm running the beta version on there the 7 pro gets phenomenal battery life i could go almost two days almost two days a good good day and a half on my pixel 7 pro and look at this thing a hundred percent i've had it off the charger for an hour and a half i cannot believe that so if you're looking for <laughs> a this may be the phone of the year as far as again it charges fast fast enough for me I don't know what those people are talking about online. The battery life's been on, it hasn't even drained 1%. It stayed on 100% for uh, an hour and a half. So overnight you may drain one or 2%. Uh, it's phenomenal. I mean, absolutely phenomenal. So I just noticed that and I wanted to record this and I'm gonna stick it on to the end of the review video. So um, very, very cool phone. And as you can tell, I got the screen protector on it too. So I, I shot that video and everything. So. Um, just i cannot express how uh happy i am with google and the pixel line lineup for the year for the 7 series they just hit a home run so um very very impressed and i just wanted to bring that to your attention peace